Hi, I'm Mark Smith, Technical Director of the Caterham Formula One team. Uh, and I'm just going to have a, a, a quick chat about brakes prior to us heading off for, to China and Bahrain for a double header. Um, although, if you look at the layout of the circuits, um, uh, you, you could easily reach the conclusion that they're quite similar in nature. In actual fact, one of the big differentiators is the way in which they load the brakes. Um, and it's fundamentally uh, about the ratio of longitudinal loading, i.e. accelerating and braking, versus lateral loading going through the corners. Um, and what you'll see with China is that there's one very long straight, uh, and in terms of straights, that, that's pretty much it. Whereas Bahrain, I think there are four shorter straights. Um, and, and, and what you'll find is that uh, there, are, there are two effects of the straights. One, you have to stop the car from relatively high speeds, but two, whilst you're going down those straights, before you operate the brakes, uh, you are in fact uh, applying cooling air at relatively high speed to the brakes. So um, it, it's, it's a twofold thing. You, you, you create a lot of energy that you have to dissipate, but also you get a cooling effect. Now, although I said Bahrain had has four straights where China, China has one, uh, in effect. Um, the straights in Bahrain are much shorter, so the cooling effect um, is, is far outweighed by the, the braking energy requirement. So what we'll see around a lap of Bahrain is that the average temperature of particularly the brake disc is significantly higher than the average temperature of the disc um, around China. So how do we deal with this? Well, we effectively uh, control the, the amount of air that we feed onto the brakes to cool them. And although this, uh, this is not a current brake duct, um, it serves to illustrate the, the functionality. Um, the, the inlet of the duct, which is facing forward, so is capturing the air as the car moves through it, um, we, we have different sizes of these. So for circuits where the braking requirement is relatively low, uh, we'll have a smaller area inlet than a circuit where the braking requirement is high. Um, and the air that's, that's being captured by the duct um, is, is fed through the hub assembly to cool very directly the disc, because this is uh, the, the highest temperature component in the system, the pads and the caliper. The caliper runs at a cooler temperature, but, but nevertheless, it has to be controlled. And in fact, you'll see uh, in all of the cars, they have various means of differentiating between caliper and uh, disc or material cooling.